This is my first time ever on Facebook Live uh, since I'm an ambassador for uh, Salon Centric. Um, so we decided to go live today um, to talk to everybody about a perfect consultation because the consultation, guys, is your hook to a better business. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. So um, um, a salon, a client consultation, uh, guys, it's, it's about the most important element uh, when meeting a new client. Uh, uh, you know, the consultation sets the tone. Um, it sets the tone uh, for the client entire experience. Uh, you know, because you determine you know, the, the consultation will determine the trust level between uh, you and the client in, in the first few minutes. So uh, this consultation, it's a great opportunity uh, to start building uh, a relationship uh, with, the, with the client and determine exactly what your client needs are. So, uh, Concentrate on the consultation a lot and do your best uh, and use this opportunity uh, to learn as much as you can about uh, uh, clients likes and dislikes in the past uh, salon experiences. Uh, it's, it's good, uh, you know, learn the good and the bad uh, as well as their general lifestyle uh, issues that are relevant to their hair. So, uh, consultation, I always uh, ask the client if they are local to come in for a consultation. So the consultation will take uh, about uh, 20 to 30 minutes maximum, not, not less, not more. Um, <clears throat> so uh, through the consultation, you have to always uh, greet the client so warmly and firmly uh, you know I was gonna tell you <laughs> to start with the friendly handshake but now we we don't have the handshake anymore but I hope this is will vanish soon because uh, nobody can uh, live their life without the handshake uh, handshake is very important. So let's let's pretend we we're not in in quarantine and we just want to talk about a normal uh, consultation. So greet the client with firm, friendly handshake. Uh, not everybody is comfortable with the handshake, but but uh, if you are, uh, allow uh, allow uh, this this allow to tell you uh, why it's a good idea you know because uh, the handshake will est will establish a professional relationship especially with men clients uh, you know the handshake suggests equal and uh, professional it, it gives you uh, the image of a professional hairstylist so uh, try try to meet them in the lobby and walk them to your station um, never call someone uh, from across uh, the room it's a very bad etiquette you know uh, try to walk to them uh, you know shake hand and uh, you know uh, ask them for their name and tell them your name and walk them to your station uh, you know and start to uh, once you sit down uh, the client in the in the chair try to turn the chair uh, to like a little bit slight angle away from the mirror and start uh, your salon consultation by talking uh, to them face uh, to face because you know an eye contact is really uh, in 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 instills trust um you know, I, I've done this many times and I know <clears throat> when I face the client in the chair and I talk to them face to face, eye to eye, listen to them uh, completely, you know, like I give them all my attention. They love it. 
I can tell I hope the client so quickly, this fast, you know, uh, let them talk, you know, give them a space and let them talk about their experience with their hair, uh, the likes and the dislikes, uh, how they see themselves. Uh, uh, ask them what they have in mind today. Uh, then then uh, uh, go behind the chair, uh, drape the client and repeat back what she told you. Show the client that you are memorizing her thoughts or her requests what she likes what she doesn't like ask the client about their lifestyle lifestyle is very important <clears throat> are they are they committed to uh, daily work uh, what kind of a profession they are in uh, are they housewives are they low or a high maintenance clients you can tell from their appearance if if uh, they want something more practical or if they want something more uh, high maintenance, you know. So all these elements, it will really establish a big, um, a big idea about your client. You know, you will establish and, and try to write things also down, you know. Uh, show the client that you're very engaged with her and you like to know everything about about the client, you know. Um, ask her, ask the client for their past history with coloring. Uh, if she has pictures also, that will help a lot. You know, always tell them the picture will give an idea, but you can, we cannot mimic pictures. We cannot copy pictures because every hair is totally different. <coughs> I'm sorry. Every hair is totally different and you cannot mimic. And some pictures are Photoshop or they are in a different lightning. And hair color is different. Uh, uh, in, in, it, it's in different tones. It depends on the lightning. Like sometimes I take a picture under a white light uh, and it's so icy, so uh, ashy. Sometimes I do it under a warm uh, uh, light and it looks more uh, blonde, more like a warmer blonde. So, but the picture, sometimes it helps with the cut. It helps with the distribution of the blonde, like if they want more blonde around their face, if they want more chunky blonde, or if they want uh, more like a baby light blonde so that definitely the picture will help and if if the client tells you also that she had um uh, like 10 years ago a color that you know she they only achieved it one time and she never be able to achieve it she can show you that color maybe you can uh, you know that will give you a better judgment about the color you will be offering her you know and you will see if that color that she did before uh, suits her and that will help you to determine what uh, colors suits her, her skin tone and you guys know that when you have an ashy skin tone or like a cool undertone uh, it will go much better with any ashy and cool tone you have to match your skin tone if you have more like a warm uh, undertone you have to go a little bit more warm you cannot go ashy with warm skin tone. So it has to complement each other. <clears throat> Very important also a tip um, that do not promise the clients, do not promise the clients uh, things you're not able to do just because you just wanna prove yourself that you will be able to because once the client is in your chair and this client you know you're gonna look like a fool you know when you're not able to achieve uh, but if the client pushes you for it you know like if you tell her you know what I don't think your hair will be able to lift to this certain amount of light and she tells you it's okay if we get a little bit of damages i've heard that a lot in many cases you know tell her you know what i will try 
but there is no promises and have them sign a consent form to uh, to establish you know the conversation in writing you know uh, <clears throat> well like uh, for for that that question she just asked me uh, Natalie uh, the skin tone you determine uh, uh, you know, you can ask the client. Every client, ha they know what's their undertone. You know, the undertone of the client, you know, because they buy makeup and, and, and they have an idea about it. So if their undertone is warm, definitely you have to go with warmer. If at least, uh, for example, the client has undertone warm, but she wants an ashy uh, a color, she has to change that undertone with makeup. Definitely. She has to put more like a, a pink, pink makeup with the grays and plums, more like a cool tones. That's definitely. And that goes with anybody who has a very fair skin that wants to um, to go very light, you know, so in to avoid washing out, you know, uh, with the with the color, it's good to put makeup. So you have to also um, treat also silverish that I am specialized specialized in silver you have to treat it as blonde you know so if you are fair skin and you want to go very silver definitely <clears throat> uh, you have to do a lot of makeup but if you are an olive skin and you want to go silver definitely this will fit you naturally you don't need makeup you know for this to to fit you anyway we'll go back to the consultation um, by the way, I'm having a lot of good time talking to you guys because I, you know me from my post on Instagram, I love to help. So this is definitely um, is something uh, I'm passionate about. Uh, so, so like I told you, do not promise anything. I mean, you have to know your strength. Okay. That's why I always suggest to, to stylists, in order to improve your strength with hair, uh, try to practice on your uh, friends, on your family, on a mannequin heads, uh, so you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, strength your uh, your skills. So when you have a, a client for consultation and she's requesting uh, really uh, a big transformation like I get all the time, so you are more confident. So you will tell her, yes, I can do that. And talk to the client very clearly also about the charges. Uh, you know, clients, they love to know how much they will be expecting to pay. Definitely. You know, they, they like to know that because every person has a budget. Uh, and this has nothing to do with being rich or being uh, poor, you know, um, or middle class. Because, you know, this is, it depends on how much you value things. Some people, they don't like to pay more than certain amount of money on their hair, you know, regardless how much money they have, you know. So by clearing this, this will make the client feel very comfortable you know, in your chair that, you know what, uh, this stylist was very open, was very confident, um, was very honest, you know, and many clients, I tell them that I'm sorry, I'm not able to do this. I don't, I don't really advise you to do this. They tell me, Jack, thank you very much for your honesty. We're going to be back and they will be back because honesty is number one in our work in our salon be honest to the clients be an open book ask questions uh, um, try to know everything how do they see themselves when they look in the mirror what do they like what they don't like about their hair just you know it's it's like a therapy session the consultation to be honest with you so <clears throat> so you said you set the tone of the consultation with your knowledge um, you know practice if you are uh, you know, a little bit not sure about this, practice consultation with your family members, you know, at home um, or friends, you know, try to make it as fun as possible and you get used to it. So it becomes like more uh, habit when you see a client, what question you need to ask them. You know, there is a lot of great salon consultation questions like, like, how did you hear about us? You know, so you will know what's the source of this client, you know, so you will know 
what advertisement you did out there that it's working for you. So you are establishing a whole idea about your business, you know. Uh, also, another question will be like, uh, um, what's your plan for your hair today? What what are you here for? You know, uh, how do you feel about the condition of your hair? You know, do you feel it's getting drier? It's getting, uh, uh, you know, thinner? Uh, are you losing uh, some of your hair? You know, what's going on with your hair? Okay. Um, how would you describe your scalp? Do you have itchy scalp? Do you have dry scalp? You know, uh, do you have oily scalp? very important those those question what is your for example what's your biggest challenge uh with your hair um another one will be like look look in the mirror and for me and uh, and look at your hair and do you like what you see as we speak right now so you will know exactly how the client sees herself and if you have a problem like most of us remembering things you can record the the consultation you can write uh, tips and and um, information about the client which what does she inform you uh, about herself uh, for example how often you shampoo your hair you have to ask the client how often you shampoo your hair because if she shampoos every day and she's having some problems with her color, you know, the fading, for example, that will determine that the cause of the fading is too much shampooing. So when you know about the client's habits at home, how she's dealing with her hair, you will have also an answer and a solution for what is she going through as hair problems. So also, um, how much time you spend on your hair. This also determines if she is a high maintenance or a low maintenance uh, uh, c client. You know, is she is she a, mir a mir mirror uh, a mirror person? Is she like does she look at at uh, at the mirror every time she get chance or she doesn't care? You know, which is a lot of clients. You know, sometimes they, they don't. But I feel like nowadays we are, um, I mean, women in general, they are uh, really uh, trying to break those uh, bars about their looks. They're more into their uh, activity, their sport, uh, their eating healthy you know and i'm sure the look is very important but they're more practical than very high maintenance nowadays this is how i feel from the clientele i get which is i am happy because a woman is not just a look you know woman to me it's a it's a whole uh, you know it's it's a it's a person uh, a human being walking showing a good example for others you know like you know i'm uh, i'm i'm doing sports i'm I can uh, cook, I can work, I can, uh, you know, do everything I, I am able to. So it's not just about, uh, you know, the looks and the hair. Um, other questions you can ask uh, the, the, the client as well. Um, uh, if you are going somewhere special, how do you style your hair? What kind of uh, product you use on your hair? what kind of uh, hot tools you can use you know so you you're the one who can create even more questions to help you determine what you are going to offer the client as a cut and as a hair treatment and as a as a hair uh, color um, um, also you can ask the client uh, uh, whose hair you 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 admire from the celebrities for example <clears throat> i had a lot of clients they used to come to me asking me for uh, jane fonda's uh, haircut uh, when she had a little bit longer hair you know th those nice layers you know 
I've got a lot of requests of that. Um, so sometimes they admire some celebrities here and they want to show you what they like and that will help you to establish an idea about what they are thinking of. Um, uh, also ask them what's the no-no about their hair? Like what's the cut that they cannot stand? So you can definitely stay away from it and do not even mention it to the client anymore. Uh, also, <clears throat> um, most of the, I mean, we see a lot of uh, like very fashionable hair colors, you know, like when you see a client, uh, she's in a suit and she's a business person, you cannot offer this client, for example, uh, a purple or a blue or, you know, you have to, also talk to the client based on her appearance you know her lifestyle what kind of work she does so um, those are very very important uh, steps in the consultation <clears throat> and definitely once you start to you know once you book the client also you can always um, ask for uh, you know, it depends to you to if you want to charge for a consultation or not. I do not personally charge for for a consultation because most of the clients that I consult with, they uh, they book right away. You know, most of them. So this is up to you because most of the high scale salons they do offer consultation fees, uh, or they charge consultation fees, and those fees. If they agree to book, it will go toward uh, the service. But if those, if the client decide not to proceed, for example, for any reason, at least your time was not just free, you know, because your time is valuable for, for yourself and for the salon you work for. <clears throat> so you determine, I mean, usually the consultation it, it, fees will be like from uh you know 50 to 75 dollars it depends on uh the prices of your services and you can determine that uh, yourself um so once you book the client uh i do charge uh, a deposit which is half of the charge like for example if the client come to me and she we determine that her hair can be done in five hours for example and the charge is going to be like eight hundred dollars uh we do request uh four hundred dollars as a non-refundable deposit you know you have to also establish a policy in your salon this policy you know, clients, you will be so surprised how much they love it because they know that you are professional and you respect their time and uh, you will get more requests for, for appointments when you have a policy. You know, like um, I have non-refundable. They can only reschedule, but they cannot cancel unless they have really a very, very legit reason for canceling, which is, uh, you know, God forbid something uh, health wise, you know, but mostly, you know, they cannot cancel, they can reschedule more than 24 hours. Um, but less than 24 hours, they will lose the, the deposit and a new deposit has uh, to be paid in order to rebook them for another appointment because your time is valuable and you want to set the standards in your in your salon you know um, uh, it does not mean that what i'm doing is right and 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 that's the standard that you have to follow no uh, this is right for me as a, as jack martin but what's right for you you can determine that based on your location the clientele you have you know this is all you have to sit with yourself and determine all that um, uh, another thing, once you finish um, uh, your service, while you're doing the service, definitely you have to also sell, you know, because we are not just uh, a hairstylist, we are also a salespeople, whether you like it or not, you know, 
we are we have to sell our products retail and we have to sell our services like for example while i'm i'm working on a client's hair i will notice that she has a lot of frizziness so i tell her by the way i do also a great i have a great product to do a um uh, a Brazilian keratin treatment, you know, if you would like to try it, it really helps you a lot, you know, and it will cut your styling time uh, much shorter. Uh, so you have to sell and then you will also sell products while you're shampooing her. Uh, like, you know, try to always use in your back bar what you sell on your shelves. You know, do not be a cheap with your product when using on clients you know because sometimes the hair feels wonderful after shampoo and the client will ask you oh what did you use i really love the smell and i loved how it feels oh you know what i sell that shampoo on my shelf and this is the shampoo okay well i'll get a bottle from that and this is how you generate more and more business by offering uh, things you know and then at the end, definitely you have to also establish um, some kind of uh, maintenance uh, uh, sheet. You know, I always have a sheet of maintenance, one, two, three, four, five. I hand it to my client to, to or I text it to them uh, since we are more now in the digital, you know, and uh, digital world. So maintenance is like number one number two do not shampoo uh, too often shampoo with the uh, depends like uh, if she has more like icy blonde uh, shampoo with the um, purple shampoo uh, do not use hot water um, um, what else you know do not use hot tools and if you have to use hot tools use like you just tell them based on the color they got what they should do and do not list this really will establish a lot of trust especially when this list works with the client and they see a difference you know in the in the in the long run you know they will really appreciate it and they will get back to you and they will text you and tell you you know what uh, your uh, list once i start doing it you know my hair got improved a lot and i feel much better about my hair so uh this is uh, for for example now if we if you have a client that she's far away and um, if she is i'm sorry uh, if she's far away and she has to do a consultation through either video or uh, through pictures uh, make sure <clears throat> when you uh, when they send you a video to tell them that uh, send me a video under daylight outside because you will be so surprised at the difference in the color between the indoor and the outdoor and I'm sure most of you guys know that you know but clients they don't know we have to educate clients we have to tell them also pictures try to get uh, pictures from every angle from the client if she's far away um, under daylight as well so you can determine the difference between what she has as a color and the desired color she is trying to achieve that will will make it much easier and uh, to for you to determine how long of a time you need to finish her since she's not uh, you know in person consultation she's online but when I get, me personally, when I get clients from a different uh, state, uh, definitely I leave the whole uh, day for, for her, you know, because they're traveling, they're uh, paying money for hotel and for airline. So I don't want to take any chance of taking another client at the same time. I want to give them my full focus and show them that they are a celebrity in my, in my chair and they are a very VIP person. So, but it's all up to you. I'm just telling you exactly in general what I do. And, you know, sometimes you might get an idea from what I'm speaking for your business or you might just, you know, let it pass by. But I'm just sharing my consultation and my experience. And you can ask definitely all the questions that you ask when she is in your chair, also by text. 
After you look at her pictures through the text, you can ask her about her past experiences, uh, if she has, if she's done a color before that she's in love with, but she's not able to achieve, please send me this picture and all the above that we've talked about uh, previously. Um, uh, that's, that's for, you know, in general, this is exactly, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys have any question. That's uh, just a, a quick overview about a consultation. Uh, if you have questions for me, I would love to try to answer it. Uh, in the meantime, um, this quarantine is teaching everybody uh, a lot of things. Like, look how much we appreciate our previous life now after this happened and we are we were taking our life in in for granted you know but now definitely it's gonna we're gonna open a new page in our life after we go back and appreciate what we had you know and appreciate our clients more and be more nicer you know to each other as as also as a stylist in in in, in this field you know um you know uh we had a great life and in a second we lost it and i hope this is temporarily you know because i cannot sit at home uh for longer time without working without uh, achieving uh you know the, the 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 things i'm achieving in my salon because that's my passion um okay let me see this uh, for me, yes, the consultation uh, is complementary. Do you ever use the eye color also to d determine right uh, color? Definitely, definitely. Uh, if the client has a lighter uh, uh, eyes, you know, definitely the lighter hair will will give her eyes a little bit more sparkle. Definitely. I mean, uh, it's a plus. Okay, let me let me read you a consent form. I have I have a consent form that I wrote, and hopefully this is will really help you guys uh, to to have an idea uh, what uh, what how how to write your own cons uh, consent uh, form. You would like your doctor to give you a consultation before giving me the bill. You know, don't we all agree about that? Uh, you know what? Uh, the Colleen, for the hourly charge, it's up to you, honestly. I do not do hourly charge. What I do is I charge per uh, per the whole job. Like this is, is going to be about 10 hours. 8 to 10 hours or 10 to 12 hours and it's gonna be this amount of money you know but definitely you can do your own hourly charge let me read for you the consent um, and then I will go from there okay uh, the consent, it starts at, please read the terms and conditions very carefully before you submit your payment. This is very important. Uh, this deposit is the purpose, for the purpose of uh, securing your appointment for hair services at Jack Martin's salon. This deposit is not refundable you can only reschedule your appointment 24 hours or more before your actual appointment time. But if you schedule your appointment less than 24 hours before your actual appointment time, or if no show occurred, we will keep the deposit and a new deposit is required to book a new appointment. Rescheduling has to be made by written request through an email to our salon email or by text to my cell phone. 
This deposit is for booking an appointment for hair services at Jack Martin Salon. We will apply the amount of the deposit toward the total service amount at the end of the service. For online consultation, price of the total service could be more than the estimate we give you online if we feel your hair is thicker and longer than what it appeared through photos this is by the way it's very important uh, to to protect yourself you know because sometimes you look at a hair through pictures but in reality and in life is way thicker and longer you know but the pictures sometimes they don't show reality so you put this tip you know that for online consultation price for the total service could be more than the estimate we give you online if we feel the hair is thicker and longer than what it appeared through photos for clients with previously colored hair seeking silver hair or even blonde you know to match their gray natural roots or seeking blonde color i would like to inform you that i do not guarantee the icy blonde silver nor the natural blonde it's totally up up to the hair if it will allow me to lift the hair to silver or blonde since it's been colored before however during the service i will try my good products and my expertise to get you there but if the hair was extremely stressed stressed i will have to stop and go another way which is plan b you can you have always to share the client that we can you know aim to plan a but if it does not work we have to do a plan b okay there are risks of breakage damages to the hair during the process due to the hair being colored previously at a different salon with product products that could chemically conflict with our products none of my silver clients that are posted on my instagram account were promised or guaranteed the ic silver all services and retail products at jack martin salon are non-refundable or exchangeable by submitting your payment you are agreeing to the terms and conditions of this consent so this is very very important consent to protect you and also protect the client and see how because even the client if she goes for a, a even a minor surgery there is a consent things can go wrong you know it's not in my hand it's not in your hand it's not in the client's hand we're we're dealing with chemicals so you have to protect yourself from the troublemakers clients because you know thank god we have great clients but also uh, it does not mean that life does not have troublemaker clients that they 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 come to us to create a problem and get a free services you know so this is will protect you you it will protect your business you know and at the same time will give the knowledge to the client what could be what could go wrong you know so they will have an idea it's not like you know we're promising them no damages and then we damage their hair no there is a possibility of damages there is a possibility of a product conflict in the hair and uh, uh, what do you ask the person from out of state for consultation online or via email etc i just you know i'm gonna save the life and you can look at it uh, or re uh, replay it again uh, so you can uh, be able to 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 watch what i talked about uh, earlier today uh, because I went through this and I told you exactly guys what you ask the client exactly what you ask on the chair but by text try and you can talk to them on on the phone you know I mean that's definitely uh, your choice um, uh, let me take other questions if anybody has a question I hope you guys are benefiting from this. Uh, I try to. Uh, 
I okay, Colleen, how do you do deal with henna? I don't deal with henna at all. You know, especially the metallic henna. Metallic henna, it's extremely hard to be removed and it might cause damages or chemical uh, uh, conflict and damages to the hair. You know, but if it's a clean henna like the one I use all the time by uh, Biolage uh, uh, plant-based color, it's it's very easy to, uh, to deal with it. Um, hello from Florida. If clients text you pictures and you are texting back and forth, okay, and what's the question, Shiva? I'm not making home coloring kits for, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not yet. I might, if this quarantine, you know, uh, goes longer than this, I might do that for my regular clients. I hope I covered everything, guys. Um, it, it was really a, a pleasure uh, seeing everybody. Um, I hope you guys doing okay. And I hope, like I said before, this quarantine will uh, teach us something about life, about uh, family. Because, you know, I think what's good about this quarantine that it brought family more together you know, because we had a gap before, you know, uh, the technology and the social media put a gap between family members. And now definitely it's bringing more the family value together. And I love that, honestly, you know. Um, but I hope we keep that not, you know, once this is over, we go back to our crazy life. You know, I start also reading a book. I would like to share with everybody as well. It's like, uh, uh, you know, I have nephews and nieces. I don't have kids, you know, but I like to also know how to treat them. And there is this book, which is I'm in love with it. it this book is Raise the Child You've Got, Not the Child You Want. You know, raising kids or dealing with your um, nephews and nieces is, is very important to uh, to treat them uh, you know, based on their personalities, not based on what you want them to be. So this is a great book, guys, from a great writer, Nancy Rose. Okay, Doc. Um, uh, talking about, uh, let's see here. How do I manage clients from far? For example, uh, are you talking about how do I manage clients uh, as far as charging? You know, there is a lot of ways of charging. You can do a uh, credit card over the phone. You can do PayPal. You can do Venmo. You can do, you know, you can uh, always do, um, uh, you know, they can even send you a check in advance and you can deposit the check make sure everything is okay how do you handle clients that make rude offense comments in the salon <laughs> maddie that's a great question to be honest with you i'm not a fan of rudeness you know once i feel the client is rude definitely definitely i can spend 10 and 12 hours with i'm so sorry you know, I'm so connected with my feelings and my and everything shows on my face. I'm not I can't act, you know. So once, you know, she makes a comment that turned me off, definitely I'll find a way, even if I'm going to pay her money not to do her hair. I'm sorry, but I'm being honest, you know. Um, let's see here. Yeah, uh, if we go over the maintenance again, maintenance is very important. Um, does plan B happen very often? Not very often, but there is always a plan B. 
there is always a plan B. Like if I can't, for example, achieve the silver blonde or the silver icy blonde, let's go to like a um, ashy blonde. Something will blend with the roots or it depends on the desired color. Um, yes, you are not promising what you cannot predict. Um, sh okay, talking about uh, shadowing, um, give me just one second, let me adjust my seat and get a sip of water, please. I do not do shadowing <clears throat> programs because I cannot have somebody who's just standing and staring at what I'm doing. It's just a mental thing. Nothing personal, guys. Uh, I have no problem with anybody. But if we, like now, we are sitting uh, for the purpose of the education, I have no problem. But when, I'm, when I have a client that she's coming from different state to spend 12 hours, I am nervous. You know, I want to achieve the best. So I don't want anything to distract me. And when somebody is sitting there or standing up next to me, uh, looking at me, I cannot do it. I feel just something is not right. So please do not take it personally. I love to help if I'm not doing clients. Goodness, too many questions and... Uh... You are welcome, Stephanie. Uh, for uh, toning the hair, definitely the maintenance list I give the client will determine how often the clients will will be uh, will need the toning. Uh, usually, I do offer the client a small. A bag that it has a toning kit in it to take it with her plus I do record a video explaining to her how to mix the toning and what's the mixing ratio uh, so it's either she can do it herself in her home or she can have her own local colorist do it for her if she is far away from me um, I have no problem sharing that with all my clients if they, they prefer to do it at home because I do not charge cheap and my fees are very expensive. I don't expect them to come back shortly in like uh, six to eight weeks, you know, to do another uh, toning service uh, if they can do it themselves to save them a little bit more money. Um, definitely... Um, toning will be determined on how much uh, maintenance they are uh, you know doing in in their home for example if they use less uh, hot water if they use less uh, um, curling iron or flat iron or hot tools definitely their hair I have clients that they came back for a trim after six months and their hair their hair still I see silver blonde. I was shocked. And I think I posted a lot of uh, uh, before and after, um, especially after I've, d I've did it, you know, after it's done, like four or five months, I posted when the client came back what her, what her hair looked like, you know, right now. So um, maintenance is number one. It's very important for any kind of hair and any kind of color, not just for icy blonde or icy silver. Uh, when we get back to the salon, it would be so awesome if you video an example of an in-person. Definitely, that's, you know, in-person consultation video, definitely I'm going to do that once I have... Uh, um, once, uh, once we go back to our normal life in the salon, definitely I'm going to do a video to show the consultation procedure, exactly how we talk to each other, how to approach the client, and I will post it on my own Instagram account. Um, okay, um, Patrick, 
my approach to turning them away uh, sometimes uh, <laughs> that's a very tricky question you devil you Pat Patrick <laughs> <clears throat> One one of the you know that you know what I'm sorry it's not achievable the color, um, but don't take this against me. I'm being honest with everybody, you know, or uh, I don't have any opening uh, very soon. Maybe in eight to to nine months. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I mean, you can find your own, your own, you know, but, but definitely with respect. Number one is respect. If clients are rude, we don't have to be rude as well. You know, uh, we can just withdraw ourselves from the service without creating a drama and without being rude. Because also, you know, they say in a business client always right which is i don't agree with that but this is what they say so you don't want to have a bad review somewhere you know on social media just be careful okay doc so um and this is a wrap up uh, about this i hope you guys uh benefiting from this i'm gonna try to save this so you can guys rerun it again and get some tips and some benefit from it um, I love every one of you guys thank you very much for all the support thank you for trusting in me um, uh, I'm a people person and I can't wait to go back to my salon you know uh, this morning I had a an interview with two uh, German magazines prints this morning so once uh, they are uh, published with it uh, soon I will share it with everybody. It's a, it's a great interview. So uh, stay well, guys. Be safe and happy. And this hard time that we are trying to benefit from, it's going to be over soon, hopefully. And we will always uh, remember that hard time and try to improve our life after, especially respect and love each other. Thank you very much and wish you all the best. Stay safe and healthy, you and your loved ones. Thank you.